Hello, my name is Joanna and I am the bra boss of Kent. My name is Sonia and I'm the founder of Sonia's Healthy Kitchen. Hi, I'm Leanne, owner and creator of the Female Fit Club. My business is the bra boss of Kent. I'm based in Faversham. I'm a fully qualified bra fitter and I've worked in the laundry industry for just over 10 years now. So I converted the summer house at the end of my garden last year into Bra Boss HQ. I offer really lovely private appointments for ladies where they can come for an hour long appointment and I will talk them through everything they need to know about bras and how they should fit and I also um, try lots of products on them as well and they can discover their new bra size. I run women's um, wellness workshops uh, specifically for women um, who are um, type 2 diabetes or um, you know having trouble losing weight or I've been newly diagnosed uh, diagnosed with um, type 2 diabetes um, so it's about them using um, managing their symptoms um, naturally through food and um, it's just basically helping them and supporting them with their nutrition my business is the Female Fit Club. I help women who are demotivated and fed up find a way to make health and fitness fit their lifestyles without misery or restriction. Um, I run community classes, but I most recently launched my membership club, which currently takes place in a private group where women have access to loads of workouts, lots of healthy eating advice, mindset stuff, and they're also able to follow a set program in order to help get them from A to Z on their weight loss and fitness journey. So um, what challenges have I faced? So there have been a few along the way. Um, it's still early days, obviously, but the most challenging part of the business is probably working out the stock that I should hold and all of the sizes there are. So in lots of ranges, there are a lot of bra sizes. So for example, they might run from a D cup up to a K cup and from a 28 back up to a 44 back. So in lots of ranges that I stock, they make over probably about 100 sizes per range. So that's a lot of bras and um, I haven't got the biggest space ever. So I've had to use my previous experience from working in wholesale and I've used um, sort of an, uh, that, that side of things to work out what size I should stock. Um, it is a challenge because you don't know who's going to walk through the door. They could be a B cup or they could be a double J cup, for example. So it's having that um, good selection of choice and um, the right style for them as well. So that has been quite challenging. The challenges I face with launching the membership club, probably the biggest one for me is self-doubt. Um, that feeling of imposter syndrome, which I know when I read about it, a lot of people in business face. Um, for me, it's held me back for a long time. Um, when I launched my membership site, I was very much suddenly thrown into that thing of, do I know enough to give my customers what they want? Um, and it's scary putting yourself out there in front of people who are relying on you to help get them somewhere. Um, I overcame that really by um, looking to people who are already successful in business, not just in the business that I'm in, and hearing that they've had those same challenges and they face those same things and continue to all the time. So knowing that it's not something that's going to go away and I've got to learn to manage it really helped. And that these people often think of themselves as not being an expert either, even though they've got hundreds of people, well thousands in some cases, turning to them every day for advice. So my um, action there was to just do it, think about doing it perfectly, imperfectly perfect or something along those lines. Um, not worrying about having to be perfect all the time, you know, not feeling like I had to know everything about everything in order to serve my customers. One challenge I was coming across was getting a venue for the workshops because I wanted um, I started off with children's workshop, um, ch healthy children cooking classes and then I found that um, actually having children in the kitchen which is what I wanted to do, I just didn't want to stick them in a hall, I wanted them to have the kitchen experience and I uh, found that, that that was quite challenging because a lot of venues were reluctant to have kids in the kitchen because um, insurance was higher and um, there were so many risk issues when you do the risk assessment. I'm not one to 
ask I'm always quite shy I would I'd rather people offer me help but um, after attending the pop-up business school I you know became more confident in asking for help so I asked for help that I needed a venue to run these workshops and I was so amazed with the response that came in um, people were offering their places for free and said yeah um, yeah so it's a way of them to promote it and they weren't using the space and just before the lockdown I had a lineup of venues to use and I was you know really really excited and it, it just gave that me a boost of confidence to say yeah okay this can actually work more recently the most challenging thing has been since reopening after the coronavirus has been stock as well so i have had um in a really good way i've been really really busy and i've been fully booked since the 4th of july which is amazing um however a high demand for fittings mixed with um some very slow deliveries from the brands which are still trying to get back on their feet and sort of get going again after after the coronavirus. Um, it's been a little bit of a challenge because this means that stock is um, quite hard to get hold of and the delivery is taking a lot longer than usual. So at the moment, because of space, I would only usually hold one of size. However, um, if I'm having a lot of fittings and a lot of ladies coming for their appointments, um, the chances were that I would sell out of the sizes very quickly. So to overcome this, what I've been doing is um, holding all the sizes that I need in Brabos HQ. So I've got a really good selection for people to try. However, once they found a bra that they love, they can um, decide what colour they would like, which also gives them a bit more choice as well. So what I'm doing is then jotting down their sizes, um, taking the payment first, and then I'm ordering them a brand new bra from the brand and then offering to post this out for them. So this basically means that they've got a bra in its packaging that no one's tried on before. They can order another colour, for example. Um, there's lots of different colour choices for every range, so they get a bit more choice. Um, and also, by taking a payment beforehand, it means that I've made the sale, um, I've taken the money, and then it means that I can place the order afterwards. So there's no guessing of what sizes I need to order and sort of and getting it wrong, for example, and being left with things that I can't sell. So I'm sort of doing it in a different sort of way at the moment where I get the sale first, I'll fit them, I'll know what size to order, and then I'll place the order afterwards. And that's been working really well.